Hi, I'm Megan with ICEV, and I would like to show you how to assign coursework to your students by changing the visibility settings in ICEV. Once you have your course set up and your students are enrolled, it is easy to adjust what students see on their account and assign coursework by adjusting the visibility settings. Let's take a look at how to do this. First, let's open the course we're wanting to assign coursework from by clicking on the view icon next to the course name. Now, by default, when you create a course in ICEV, all of the lessons and materials are made visible to students. So right now, since none of the visibility settings have been altered for the course, all of the lessons and their associated materials are visible to students registered in the course. I am going to open another browser window with the student version so you can see how changing the settings on the teacher license impacts what the student sees. So let's go back to the teacher version and make some changes. To change the number of lessons a student sees, beneath the settings heading on the right side of the browser window, click Show Settings under Lesson Visibility. This will place a drop-down menu next to each lesson title where you can specify if you want the lesson to be visible to students, hidden from students, or become visible on a certain date. One tip I would offer is to select the Hide All option beneath the Lesson Visibility heading, and this will make all of the lessons hidden until you turn them on or make them visible to students on a certain date. So now that I've clicked Hide All on the teacher version, let's take a look at the student version. We're going to need to click Refresh so that these new settings will be applied, and as you can see, all the lessons are now hidden on our student's version. Now, if we want to make a lesson visible, let's go back to the teacher version. And then we'll just need to select Visible to Students next to the lessons we want to show up on the student license. Now on the student license, if we click Refresh again, the lessons we made visible will appear. Another visibility option that you have on the teacher license, if we go back to that, is to make a lesson visible on a certain date. So if you're wanting to set a schedule for your course, this could be a great tool to use. All you need to do is choose Visible on Date from the menu, and then select the date you would like for it to show up on the student license. Once that date arrives, the lesson will be visible and will not show up until that date. Let's open a lesson and see how to make assignments visible to students. One tool that you can use while trying to pick out assignments is the lesson plan. Each ICEV lesson contains a pre-made lesson plan, which can be found by clicking the lesson plan icon on the lesson page. When the lesson plan opens, the first page contains a goal, description of the lesson, and objectives for the lesson, along with horizontal alignments or common core standards dependent upon the state you're in. And then if we scroll down again, you'll actually get to the meat of the lesson, which is going to provide you with a daily scope and sequence of which pre-made projects and activities go with the different segments of the lesson. To see a description of the projects and activities which are included, scroll to the last page. Anything which is mentioned in the lesson plan will appear under the printable heading from an activity or project perspective. Let's take a look at those by going back to the lesson page. If you scroll down and open the printable collapsible menu by clicking on it, you will see a list of all of the items mentioned in the lesson plan, ranging from activities and projects to vocabulary and student handouts. Each of these items, if the checkbox is checked, are visible to students and they can open and view them on their license. If you want to hide an item, just uncheck the checkbox. Next, let's take a look at the interactive items. Click on the interactive heading to open the collapsible menu. Any interactive item on ICEV is automatically graded for you once the student completes it. These would be excellent assignments for distance learning environments and reviewing the content in a lesson. Just like the printable items, if the checkbox in the visible to student column is checked, students can see it on their license. If unchecked, the item is hidden from student view. There are several other options you can customize with the interactive items. In this video, we're going to talk about the ones directly related to assigning work. The deactivate on date option, if checked, opens a calendar where you can set a deadline for students to complete that interactive item by. 
So for instance, if you want all of the work completed by a certain date for a lesson, you could choose for those items to be deactivated on that date. Next, you can also set an attempt threshold. This just means you can set the number of times a student can complete an interactive item. By default, there is no limit, so to set a limit, you can enter a number in the box. So for instance, if you only want students to be able to complete an item once, enter the number one in the box. The last setting you can change related to assigning work is the show details option. Show details just means that once the student completes an interactive item, they would be shown the graded version of their work. If you uncheck the checkbox after a student completes the item, they will just see their grade, not what they got correct or incorrect. Showing the details is a great option for allowing students to review their work before taking a final assessment or moving on to the next lesson. To save you time, instead of having to uncheck all of the options you want hidden, if you go back to the lessons page, beneath the settings heading, you can choose to hide all or show all for each of the items we have discussed. One suggestion I commonly make to teachers, especially if they're using this in a distance learning model, is to go ahead and hide everything, and then you can easily just turn on what you want students to see. So now that we have everything hidden, Let's go make a few items visible and see what that looks like on the student license. So let's pick a lesson and then underneath the interactive heading, choose to make the vocabulary, the first set of student notes, and the first assessment visible to students. Now if we go to the student license and click refresh and then open that lesson, once the lesson is open, you will notice only the items that we have selected for the student to be able to view on the teacher version will appear. This is going to be true for all of the lessons you customize the visibility settings for. Now you should have a basic understanding of how to adjust the visibility settings in ICEV to assign students work. For more information, view the other tutorials on the page. If you have questions or need help, give us a call at 1-800-922-9965.